Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Our letter for 22 March is The Diary of Anne Frank. My darling Kohana Eve, last night I watched an old black and white film about the persecution and Nazi extermination of Jews and the two years Anne Frank and her family resided in an attic. They were supported and fed by sympathizers and friends. She kept a diary that has proved valuable in understanding how a human can make the best of the unimaginable world torn by deceit and wickedness. From their attic sanctuary, she looked out over the Nazi-infested streets that had once been their neighborhood. Aside from the fact that the Jewish Frank family and friends were marked for death, the quality of life under the tyranny of Hitler's stormtroopers in the SS was rife with fear and suspicion, saturating the daily environment. Each day, she would write in her diary events of that day, but a reader can easily grasp the tenderness and persistent love in her spirit as she records those ghastly, dreadful acts of terror and violence on the citizens. She lived in prayer and devotion to God Most High and her faith enabled her to rise above the wickedness intended by the destroyer to demoralize her, thereby reducing her to a slave filled with hatred and fear. God gave her the victory. We have that same victory when we face our fears and share them in the love and peace of God. Each day we write in our personal book of life that one day will be open before the judge of all life. Like Anne Frank, who has gone on before us to her personal reward, we will know as we are known and see as we are seen in the eyes of Creator God. May our lives be as exemplary as the life of Anne Frank. Let our mantra be holiness unto the Lord, now and forever. Yours in peace, your Kohana. History is replete when we study it of saints who have given their lives in a manner that glorified God, who lived in all kind of terror and torment, and yet were not fearful, because they knew the power of the Most High God in Jesus Christ. Uh, Anne Frank was a young woman who, um, because of the war in that day and the attack on the Jews, um, by uh, Adolf Hitler and the Nazi party. Um, she had to live a life in behind um, uh, the doors of a home in an attic for two years. And yet she came out victorious because they couldn't take her soul. They could take her life, but she gave her life for Christ. They didn't take it. And now um, I'm going to do a song called Take My Hand, Precious Lord. Precious Lord, take my hand. Lead me on, let me stand. I'm tired, I'm weak, I am worn. 
Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord. Precious Lord, linger near when my light is almost gone. Hear my cry, hear my call, hold my hand, lest I fall, take my hand. Precious Lord. Presently, he's leading us. Um, it is our privilege uh, to stand in uh, witness for him and glorify his name just by living our lives in as holy a manner as we know how and obeying the commandments and loving one another. Jesus said, by this shall men know that you are my servants, that you love one another. So men, love your wives, and wives, love your husbands. And let's give thanks to the Most High God for all that he has planned and all that he will deliver. And now, may the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll see you again soon.